When you see this logo, what do you think of? The answer is simple, prestige. So how does a company that is essentially Miramax 2.0 approach the slasher genre? Elevate it. Another term that's synonymous with A24 is the genre elevated horror. Elevated horror movies are usually films that rely on dramatic elements and themes to deliver its scares. Be it grief and hereditary, a doomed relationship in Midsummer, a pious woman's obsession with religion in St. Maud, and in the instance of X, human desire. However, franchise is now a word synonymous with A24 as they are a franchise in and of itself. Its franchises are the filmmakers they employ, such as Ari Aster, Lulu Wong, Robert Eggers, and the Safdie brothers, relative up-and-coming filmmakers who had bold visions. A24 never had a true franchise to call their own. Enter Ty West, a filmmaker mostly known as a TV director for such horror-tinged shows as the Scream TV series, Wayward Pines, and The Exorcist. West has also directed feature films such as Cabin Fever 2 and a segment on the anthology film VHS. His breakthrough film is X, about a group of pornographers looking to cash in on the home video market in 1979. But in a wonderful twist of the post credit scene, West drops a surprise teaser trailer at the end of X with Pearl. Everyone has sexual needs, both young and old. But the desires in X aren't of a pornographic nature, but rather a human nature. That is what Ty West explores masterfully with X. Every main character has some sort of desire. Maxine wanting to be the biggest porn star on the planet. Bobby Lynn wanting to make money outside of being a stripper. Wayne wanting to make millions in a burgeoning market. RJ wanting to be taken seriously as a filmmaker. Jackson adjusting the civilian life after Vietnam, Lorraine's desire to have sex, and of course, Pearl's horniness. Desire isn't just sex. Desire can be, simply be a goal you have. I love how Wes approaches this film in those terms. X also treats these characters as flesh and blood human beings. Dr. Strange and the Black Phone co-writer C. Robert Cargill posted to Twitter his rules for writing a horror screenplay. His first rule plainly states that your characters have to be likable. If we care about them, we'll get scared for them. I don't think I've ever cared for a group of characters in a horror movie more than I did in X. Victims in a slasher film are usually one-dimensional archetypes. In X, these characters felt like real human beings. Jackson and Bobby Lynn coming together for a beautiful rendition of Landslide is exactly what Cargill describes in this first rule. As these two are performing Landslide, a split screen shows Pearl and we see her doing a beauty routine. Even villains need to be humanized. Pearl is a phenomenal villain because if you saw the movie Pearl, you know without spoilers to that film there is a deep trauma in that character. So seeing her do a beauty routine as the ravages of old age have overtaken her is a truly powerful moment in this film. X hinges on exactly one person in the cast, Mia Goth. A relatively unknown British actress, Mia Goth has to play dual roles and be believable in both. As Maxine, we have to feel for her as she ultimately becomes the final girl of this film. As Pearl, the horny octogenarian psychopath, she wants what she can have. Mia Goth is a revelation in this film. The fact that I didn't put two and two together, that Mia Goth was also playing Pearl when I saw this theatrically, is a testament to her craft as an actress. In both roles, she disappears. She is completely fearless. These are two people cut from the same cloth who both want to be famous. And that's what's great about this film, is that Mia Goth nails both of these roles believably. Going back to humanizing the characters, when they die, it's fucking brutal. Between Lorraine and Jackson getting devastating shotgun deaths, Bobby Link getting murdered by the crocodile in a gruesome fashion, Pearl seducing AJ before murdering him, and Wayne getting a pitchfork to the eyes by Pearl, or even Pearl getting the most gruesome death by Maxine, it goes back to what Cargill was talking about. X passes his crash course with flying fucking colors. 
Ty West set out to make a modern day grindhouse flick and succeeded, all while creating period specific entries into this franchise. A24 ended up greenlighting the most compelling horror movie franchise in recent history by taking a chance on two relative unknowns in Ty West and Mia Goth. I can't wait to see Maxine. I can't wait to see what they do with Maxine. Be sure to like, comment, share, spread the word of New Realms Media. Follow me on all my socials at New Realms Media. And until then, I'll see you next time.